Today we're going to talk about how to handle the payment objection. Now, what I would see in most stores is when the payment objection occurs, the salesperson goes back to the sales desk and starts working the sales manager for a lower payment. This is no way to go through life. This is no way to create a life. This is no way to make a living. This is a great way to fast track yourself out of the automobile business. The customer is going to object to the payment because that's what they're supposed to do. They're going to object to the payment because, quite frankly, we've taught them that it's profitable. Because when most customers object to the payment, most salespeople look at them and go, gee, what would you pay? Something stupid like that. By the way, asking the customer what would they pay is not a bad question as long as you ask it while you're qualifying or counseling or profiling or interviewing the customer early on in the process. But not if you found them a car that's in their price category, a car that they can afford, a car that they, can deser uh, they actually deserve. When they ask for a lower payment and you get up and you leave, all you're doing is costing yourself and your dealership money and the only reason you're doing it is no one's taught you a decent objection handling strategy. Today, you're going to learn some great objection handling strategies.